put that little tube of orange carrot frosting? Where could it have gone? I swear I put it right here. I caught you! Twist. Thanks, bestie. Oh, welcome back. Hello. Twist and I have been waiting for you. We would love your help making a special gift for our backyard picnic today. It's for two of our closest friends. Can you guess who? They're from out of town. Their feathers tickle when you hug them. And... Oh, Dada. You're right, Twist. Patter Peacock. And Flap. Good job. We're making this birdhouse to look like Patter and Flap's home in Junglewood where they used to live. Patter and Flap reminded us that home is where your best friend is. Aww. Here's what you'll need. A rectangle milk carton, a pen or a pencil, safety scissors, string, non-toxic craft paint, a paint palette, paint brushes, twigs you've collected from outside that are about as long as your hand, or you can use jumbo craft sticks, some non-toxic glue, and birdseed if you'd like. Before we get started, wash out your milk carton and let it dry. Then draw a door big enough for a bird to enter. You can draw it on any side you want. Don't draw your door all the way to the bottom. We want to leave a little space at the bottom to make our perch and a place to keep our seeds from falling out. Now, follow the lines of the door and cut it out. Oh, I want to go inside. You want to go inside this house, Twist? Yeah, I want to go inside. I don't think you'd fit, Bestie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can draw fun details on your house, such as windows or shapes. I'm going to draw details just like on Patter and Flap's Junglewood house. Next, make two holes at the top of the carton. We will put a string through these holes later so we can hang our birdhouse. Time to paint! Yay, yay! Remember, paint can get messy, so lay down some paper on the table before you do it. After that, paint the fun details you've drawn. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to be creative. The most important thing is to have fun. Here's one I've already painted. If you're making a Patter Peacock and Flat Bird House, then you can pause this video and copy the same colors that we've used. Oh. We haven't added our roof yet. If you want to paint your twigs or jumbo craft sticks, now would be the time to do it. Or you can leave them unpainted. When you're done painting, wash your brushes and hands and let your painted items dry. Now that our birdhouse is dry, Put a string through the two holes that we made earlier so we can hang our birdhouse. Almost done! Now glue your twigs side by side in a row along the roof. Save one twig to place through the carton and beneath the door. This will act as a perch for the birds to sit on. Right, Twist? Yeah! I'm going to add some extra glue around it to help keep it strong. Okay! And there you have it! Your birdhouse is ready to hang. <laughs> we be a birdseed. Oh yeah, thanks Twist. <laughs> Add some birdseed inside at the bottom if you'd like. Thank you so much for your help. And thank you, Bestie. Aww. We can't wait to see you again next time. Bye. Bye.